Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here, and today I'm going to do my review for Bad Boys for Life. Bad Boys for Life is the third movie in the Bad Boys Now trilogy, um, starring Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. And this movie is fun. It's really fun. And I really, like, I just really enjoy the action, but also the kind of more dramatic elements. There's some heart in this movie that I really wasn't expecting as much of. Um, really, this movie performed well all around. You know, I, I, when I watched the trailers originally, I wasn't a huge fan. I thought that, you know, I thought that Will Smith kind of, like, it just kind of looked lazy. The, the entire movie just kind of looked lazy. Not necessarily Will Smith, but just everyone. But then, you know, there are good trailers for bad movies. There are bad trailers for good movies. And at least the first trailer for this movie was, in my opinion, pretty, pretty terrible. Um, it wasn't like, I guess it wasn't terrible. Like, I saw what they were going for. I just didn't think it was going to work. Um, so I, I'm happy to report that I very much enjoyed the, the action, the comedy, the, 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 the more, like, dramatic elements even. I mean, there was a little bit of that, but there wasn't, like, a bunch. Um, most of that um, went through, like, one storyline in the movie. Most of the dramatic elements did. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about that storyline, so. Um, you know, all, really all the actors, like, do a fantastic job. Um, I can't, can't think of the guy's name right now. The guy who plays the, um, the, like, police chief does a good job. Um, he's not in the movie. Like, really, the only, like, the, the two leads of this movie are clearly Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, and then... You know, the other, um, the, the ammo group, which you see in the trailer, they're in the movie quite a bit, more than I was expecting, with, uh, Vanessa Hutchins and all of them. Um, the villains in this movie, I really enjoyed. I think the, the way they were interwoven into the plot, the way that, that they were explaining their involvement in the plot worked for me. And so I'm happy that that worked too because, you know, a movie really most of the time is only as good as its villain. And this villain is a good villain. Not a great villain, but it's a good villain. Um, there's kind of like two of them. Um, so, but they're both, they're both, they both do what they were asked to do very, very well. And, um... The, the negatives, I mean, there are just certain story points in this movie where I'm just like, didn't really need that. I don't think that that was really necessary. But if, if that's the worst thing in a movie, I mean, it's a pretty good movie. Um, also, like, I mean, I guess there were a few um, actors who... Who didn't really, um, you know, do a fantastic job. But most of those were, like, extras. Like, like people in the background. I just noticed things in this movie where I was like, eh. Like, just people in the background that were annoying to me. It's stuff like that annoys me sometimes. Just, uh, just overall, this is a very, very fun, enjoyable, um, film. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I think that... As far as my opinions go, I think this is better than two, but not as good as one. So, one, uh, three, two. Bad Boys, Bad Boys for Life, and then, uh, and then Bad Boys 2. That's my order. And, uh, if you like this video, if you like this movie, you can tell me in the comments... And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, 
Can you follow me on the Twitter if you want to? Link should be in the description below. Talk to you guys next time.